throwing the box on here temporarily so I can get an idea how I'm going to mount it. Structure that I mean, it's fine, it's certainly strong, but it's overkill for what this is. That'd be great if you were building a flatbed that was functioning and you were loading stuff in it, but just to hold on some sheet metal, not required. We're going light. So that's about as much as I can get with the cutoff wheel because it's welded in the corners. So we'll use the plasma for that. Oh, 
I just gotta center those and that'll center the box. Every time. Every time. Just trying to level up the box here. Uh, just cutting some spot welds. reach try to get rid of this international tailgate and I don't want to pause and cut this tailgate center on the mount that squares up the box provided this frame ain't bent of course the back of the frame was chopped so god knows if it's straight so i can't use that that's pretty darn straight so there's what we got done we just blasted in the top real quick i got one inch of rake in the box because the cab has one inch of rake so this gap here is one inch more than that gap there which kind of makes the whole truck sit like that which is what we're looking for okay a little bit nicer gap than when it was when it rolled in and it's still got that rake because the back of the cab is a little bit higher than the front now the box the box is a little higher in the back than it is in the front so we kind of got a nice stance for something that looks like a pro street rat rod so hey why not like if you look at this box you can see it's the whole everything just for, i guess years of loading stuff in there it's bent so i ain't gonna straighten that not worth my time or effort but my gap's good on both sides that's what we want yeah so they're gonna get bolted right into these cross members uh, the back one's already got some holes in it that are pretty easy to get at. The front one, I'm going to have to make some holes or figure something out. Not a big deal. Uh, the other thing I got to do here is fix these tubs because this was up quite a bit higher before, uh, especially in the back. That sharp metal will cut into this tire. I got about two inches. I need to tub that out. The easiest way to tub out something like that is to go get yourself a trailer fender all right those things are dirt cheap they got a nice roll already put in them what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure the halfway and just there and there's both tubs trailer fender cut in half to make a tub okay the nice curved part already made for you can't get any simpler than that so i am going to trim this bottom just shy of that arch that's in there that's it just like that working so much out here i'm losing weight my pants keep falling off and that's my excuse and i'm sticking to it i'm just using that one by one as a guide of where the uh where the floor here would be, roughly, so that I can rotation right. And I'll let that one cool to the other side and come back and do some more over here. What I got there is a piece that I cut out from under here. So it Tina matches, it's for the truck, the right gauge and everything. Oh, grinding and those will clean up nicely. Oh yeah, that's all I got done. 
the angle and give me the strainage from this to this. Now to that, I'm going to weld it on up front and that piece will be in there solid. for my wheel hubs. Another tool I haven't used in forever. My air nibbler. A little bit of heat working, but my board should straighten out of it. That was graceful. Ugh. It's hot and I'm tired. So what we got done, the box is now bolted in. It's not going anywhere. Tubs are done. The half moons are welded in. They're a little flimsy. Uh, in retrospect, they should have probably gone to a slightly heavier gauge, but for what they are, just to keep dirt from flying in here. They'll be just fine. It's not like this is going to be a daily driver. Um, soft braces are welded in for the fuel tank so I can mount that later on. The patches on either side of the wheel tubs are in and they're not beautiful or anything but it's a rat ride. Who cares? Anyways, hot tire. I'm going for a cold one and something to eat. See you on the next one.